Welcome to DBC Diaries, episode 45. Today, we're with returning patient Kishan. He is a top neurologist, actually, from up in New Jersey, and we treated him last year. He's back this year to share his story with you so you can learn more about this. We've worked with a lot of doctors from the United States. He's one of them, and I think it just adds more credibility to stem cell therapy in general. You know, even doctors from the United States are doing this, finding it successful. In his case, we helped his ulcerative colitis. He's back again to make sure that those results stay, and he's gonna share his story with you here. Today we take a Gisha blood sample, and tomorrow we do his treatment. Today, Kishan, it's coming back for a 300 million IV treatment and a 25 million nebulizer treatment. Hey, welcome to DBC Diaries, episode 45. I'm here with returning patient Kishan. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> so it's been about a year since you were here last, right? Yeah, a little over a year, a year and three months. Great. So you came down from New Jersey and pretty cool story. I mean, you're a doctor there, right? Yeah, I'm a neurologist. Yeah, yeah. You're the guy, you're the, the brain guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so you came to us last year and you'd seen a lot of these videos like you're just telling me and just, I guess, what's kind of your backstory? Like what happened? What brought you here? Yeah. So, um, I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis at the age of like 20, 21. Um, so ever since then, I've been trying to find, like, I've been gone through so many treatments. I've been through medications. I've tried holistic treatments. I've tried, um, also all sorts of stuff, you know, and kind of everything failed. Like the medications cause bad side effects. Okay. Uh, so I had to stop them and I tried like natural stuff, but then all of that stuff wasn't like, was helping a little bit, but then it kind of failed as well. So that was just kind of dealing with it, you know, and just having like all these symptoms of like, you know, these stomach issues and it was kind of really affecting my quality of life. Um, and it got like really bad, like last year when I came here, it got super bad. And um, I'm just like, I have to do something like outside the box, you know? And then I just started researching, researching. I actually read a book, uh, Tony, uh, Tony, you know Tony Robbins, yeah, right? Yeah, she did that, yeah, like, Life Force, I think. Right? Yeah, uh, Life Force, you know, so I'm like, girlfriend uh like recommended uh this this book called life force i read it the first mm -hmm. chapter was all about stem cells and he talked about how his his like shoulder or something just got completely healed from uh around his stem cells and i'm like uh, i gotta i gotta go to go go and do this you know so i, yeah. I was researching all the spots and i i was like i tried to pick you based on like the videos and i, I trusted you and um all the reviews and all the great things people had to say about you so oh great came down here you know um I didn't have much expectations I was like you know I was like if it if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't but you know sh sure enough after I got the treatment I started it wasn't uh, an immediate improvement I would say after yeah. like three months uh, I started feeling a lot better you know uh so like it, it, and then from like the three to six month mark like the six month mark I was completely like healed I felt like you know so at like the four month mark, I did a colonoscopy. Okay. And my gastroenterologist says, you know, you don't have ulcerative colitis. Like it's, <laughs> I had a new gastroenterologist at the time, right? He's like, you, I don't see anything here. You know, like, I'm like, no, I was diagnosed. <laughs> I had it like on a previous colonoscopy diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. Oh, well, with your background, you can't really yeah. argue with yeah. Yeah. But you know, I'm not been a doctor. He's, he's, not... <laughs> he's like, uh, he can make, are you make it? I'm like, no, I, I've actually had ulcerative colitis, you know? So then he, my whole, it was just completely clear. All my blood markers normalized, you know, my inflammatory wow. markers. I okay. checked those as yeah. well. My ESR was always high. My CRP was always high. 
Um, and all those normalized as well when I checked my blood work. So awesome. It was just kind of almost a miraculous treatment, you know, and, um, you know, I'm really grateful for you for like, you know, um, cause you got me in like right away last year when I texted you, I was like, I was in uh, dire need of like some help. You, know? <laughs> you sounded like it's right yeah, I was like, oh, really strong in a way at a time. <laughs> and you fit me in. So I'm uh, totally grateful for that. And, um, yeah yeah man it was it's it was it was awesome i saw like um yeah and then like uh i just came back for like another round because some of the symptoms started creeping back okay you know at about the year mark got it um so i feel like you know it's time for another round yeah you know it's good to let people know i mean we always hope this is a one and done but right I mean, you've had it for a long time right i mean hell yeah 20 years 20, yeah over the 20 years 22 years so sometimes it takes more than one round to get it all the way and i mean even if it doesn't like i mean it's better to come back every once in a while than aqua deal with what you're dealing with right oh totally worth it totally i mean if it's if i have to come once a year it's i'll come once a year you know for like all that relief and not only that like my energy levels picked up um like my like acid reflux that kind of uh went away oh okay. I, i've had two back surgeries and since then i've had like almost no pain in my back either oh, that's you know, i usually have flare-ups in my back like a uh, four or five sure. times a year and like last year the last year i haven't had any flare-ups you know so oh, and i bet you notice i mean you're probably standing up most of the day so yeah, and that wears yeah. on the back and mm -hmm. That's actually why we do the IV with our back treatment. You know, we do in direct into the back too, right. but even the IV, there's so many muscles that support the back that it just, it helps that. I mean, when I did my first 300 million IV, I think I put on like 10 pounds of muscle that you're barely oh, wow. trying wow. because it, like, it seeks out inflammation while you lift weights, <laughs> you yeah, inflame, yeah. you tear muscle and yeah. it heals. So there's a, there's a lot of other benefits to it and you'd probably find it interesting, but we're, we've had a lot of patients do DNA methylation tests mm. and checking their biological age versus their real age. And we're consistently seeing those numbers like come out younger. You know, we just had a guy send me his, he did the one that Brian Johnson recommends. The, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, like the Live Forever guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah and uh, this, this guy is in his 60s and his his uh, biological age came out at like 42. Wow. And what's crazy, I think his lung age, because it tells you like lung, heart, brain, like everything. And his, his lung age was like 27. Mm -hmm. And when you do an IV, it goes heart, then lungs. And about 70% mm -hmm. stay in the lungs and dissipate in. Not all of them, but a large percent because they get stuck for two to three hours and all the capillaries there. Right. So it was pretty interesting. We're even seeing on that data that like, yeah, the lungs you know, are very much being affected by this. Yeah. So it's cool. Wow. That's amazing. <clears throat> That's amazing. Well, cool. Well, thanks so much for coming back, for yeah. sharing this with other people. I mean, yeah, just cool. your background, your profession, you know, that helps other people understand what this can really do for you. And yeah. it's a really tough disease. I mean, we've had a lot of people with it, yeah, but yeah, a lot of people are struggling with it and, you know, yeah. and it's, there's not a lot of options available, unfortunately, in, in, in the States, you know, that, you know, um, it's sort of either masking the symptoms or it's just not an effective, you know, um, yeah. And I just wish it was this was more widely available to, you know, yeah, the masses. You know? They need to find a way to get it there, but hopefully in time. I mean, yeah, it seems like they're working on some good stuff government wise to kind of yeah. fix the system. But you know, yeah. we'll see how that plays out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. In the meantime, well, you can always come down to Mexico. I mean, bro, so I don't mind coming down here. It's, it's paradise out here. So <laughs> there's worse places to visit. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, cool. Well. If you at home want to learn more about stem cell therapies, you can take a look at www.dreambody.clinic. Scroll down on the homepage, all the treatments are listed. You can see ulcerative colitis there. It's got the treatment, it's got price, it's got links to studies, info, videos like this of other patients we've helped out. And if you want a free consultation, you can call us anytime at 888-704-3977. I'm Josh, happy to help.